Good morning, my real MVPs. I hope you all slept well. I hope you guys have risen with expectation. I pray a great week for you guys. I pray health and strength over you guys. I pray grace and mercy over you guys. I just wanted to come to you all briefly and give you a message, okay? The message of today is entanglement lead to disaster. Think about that, y'all, as I sip my coffee. To all the new subscribers, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to come aboard. I pray that you enjoy yourself here. I pray that something is said that changes your life. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So y'all, entanglements lead to disaster. That's deep, huh? Essentially, entanglements are relationships. And relationships could be a beautiful thing, right? And we all desire to be loved, right? But entanglements can lead to disaster. The Lord said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet comparable to him. That comes from Genesis, the second chapter, the 18th verse. I'm going to give you the definition of comparable. Comparable of a person or thing. Liken to another. Comparable. We want our relationships to be comparable to us, right? Entanglements lead to disaster. The heart is desperately wicked. So we're supposed to guard our hearts to prevent disaster, right? Right. Desperately means despair. So our hearts can cause us to sin out of disparity. Again, relate entanglements, which is essentially relationships, lead to disaster. How many of you all know David? David was a praiser. He was a man after God's own heart. But David fell behind temptation and sin for a woman. He lusted after another man's wife. Entanglements lead to disaster. Think about that, y'all. David had a son named Solomon. Solomon's entanglements led to disaster. So Solomon went after women that God told him not to. Entanglements lead to to disaster. Y'all ready for this, y'all? Let me sip my tea. So, it says, in life, we want what we want, no matter the cost. What we fail to realize is he or she may not be good for us. What's good for us is what's good for our souls for the longevity of our life. Essentially, our salvation. Then when we get in these entanglements, because entanglements lead to disaster, right? So when issues begin to rise in these entanglements, we say things like, the devil did this, or the devil did that. But in reality, we were enticed by our own fleshly desires that gave birth to sin and in some cases death entanglements lead to disaster the book of james 
chapter 1, verses 14 through 15 says, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Entanglements, relationships lead to disaster. When we react out of our emotions and impulse, we are willingly opening the door to sin. What we should be doing is testing the spirit by the spirit and praying and seeking God's face whenever we come in contact with a person. God knows a person's heart. Again, entanglements lead to disaster. The flesh wants what it wants. However, we must crucify our flesh under the subjection of the Holy Ghost. If we strive, if, excuse me, if we starve the flesh while feeding the spirit, the spirit will begin to overpower the flesh. That's deep, y'all. We are enticed by our own fleshly desires. We cause ourselves to go astray by getting involved in entanglements, which essentially leads to disaster. We must make a choice that we are pleasing unto the Lord. Choices that do not leave us broken and in despair. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience prevents heartache and disaster. Entanglements lead to disaster. Entanglements will have you picking up habits and creating generational curses. Case in point, I'm going to share a little brief story with y'all. I met this man. This was an older gentleman. He loved to indulge in alcoholic beverages. I didn't care he was a grown man. What he did is what he did. It ain't matter to me. He treated my children and I well. We wanted or needed for anything. But what I failed to realize was I myself started picking up a habit for drinking alcohol. I was never a drinker. Alcohol is not my thing. But because I was involved in this entanglement, it could have essentially led me to disaster. But God, right? Hallelujah. My point is this. Relationships lead to entanglements that have a potential to lead to disaster, which is death. Entanglements will kill, steal, and destroy our destiny. Entanglements will cause division between us and God. Entanglements will cause a division between us and God. Relationships, entanglements lead to disaster. Keep in mind, you all, relationships will either make us or break us. Be mindful of who you are and what you are allowing to be entangled with, be intertwined with your soul. You guys, what I want you guys to do is cross-reference this message with the book of 1 Kings, verses 11 through 17. Anytime I come to you guys with something, I want you to test the spirit by the spirit. I want you to go to the word of God. I want you to go to God in prayer. I want you to ask God to let you eat what was for you and let you do away with the rest. All right, y'all? Y'all, don't forget, relationships, entanglements lead to disaster. Until we meet again, I want you guys to be sweet. I want you guys to be genuine. I want you guys to be kind. But most importantly, 
I want you guys to treat people the way you want to be treated. All right? Until next time. Don't forget, relationships, entanglements lead to disaster. Mwah.